Hey, Nick, how you doing? Good. How are you? All right, man. Um, what? What? Uh, I know you say you're always just going to take the ball whenever they they ask you to and all that. But this this is a potential to have five games in a row here. I mean, will you have to at some point not be able to take the ball? Are you going to go into this thing and you'll pitch all five games if needed? And, and obviously the bullpen overall. How do you think this will get handled? Um, yeah, I mean, that's one thing with, with the coach with Snides and Stan and Cash kind of all, all working together and talking. Um, I think they do, they do a really good job of, of kind of understanding what's too much for, for somebody and, and whatnot. So um, I, I don't think any of us are going to have to say no. Um, you know, if we throw three days in a row and we've thrown a good amount of pitches or something like that, you know, I, I doubt we're going to be hot for game four. Um, also, I mean, on that note, if, you know, on, on game four, if we have game four, uh, you know, if you feel good and you're like, hey, seriously, like, I got it, um, well, I don't think Cash is going to say no. <laughs> for, for some reason, I could see you saying you could pitch in all five games. Hey we'll, see, hey, we'll see what happens. I don't like to, I don't like to look down the, down the road or try to tell the future. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Great. Kind of Kind of, kind of with that, I mean, is that one of those things that you have to be honest with yourself? Like, I mean, as a competitor, you want to pitch every single time, but you have to kind of be honest with yourself. Like, all right, I've, I've thrown this amount of pitches. I should probably, you know, tell them, you know, I'm not, I'm not feeling, you know, too hot. Yeah. Typically, you know, the more you throw, the less sharp your stuff gets too. So um, there, there's kind of that balance of, you know, if I've thrown three days in a row and I'm kind of feeling I'm hanging a little bit on day four, uh, I mean, I feel like this goes for everybody too. You know, you're hanging a little bit on day four and it's like, man, I, I could throw, but you know, my stuff is not there. You know, it's, you know, we have a good enough staff that you put in anybody in any situation. So, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things you kind of got to balance out. Nick, on that same end, how much does the four days in between series help you um, with these five games in a row, the way it's set up? I, to be honest, I think once you get over a couple days, um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's a certain point to where, you know, a little too much rest, okay, you kind of get out of that game intensity. So then when you jump back in after four days off, you know, you might be like, ooh, th there's that soreness. Um, it all just kind of depends, you know. And typically, I would say from a 162-game season, I'd say four days off is great because uh, you're kind of at the point to where – you just feel the way you feel uh, in October. So with the shortened season and, and everything the way it's been, um, yeah, I, I don't really know. But I, I think once you, once you get over a couple, couple days, I think it doesn't really matter. And you touched on the fact that the confidence in the whole group in terms of the bullpen, how much do you think it helps this group overall in this series that so many guys have pitched in so many different leveraged moments? Yeah, I don't know if that's one of his kind of goal, one of Cash's goals um, with having everybody kind of just throw in all sorts of different situations is to give everybody the confidence um, and the feel of what it's like to throw in those innings or situations. Um, so when it does come time, uh, you know, the way that we use the bullpen, uh, when it does come time, uh, he doesn't have to be like, oh, well, no, that guy, you know, let's stay away from him. You know, he hasn't been in that situation before or whatever. I don't really know what goes on with those conversations. But, um, you know, I think that definitely maybe might be a mindset um, of having everybody throw all, all over the place. So because um, there, there's always, there's multiple tight situations in game, you know, so uh, to have your guys be able to throw whenever, uh, I think that's the best case scenario. Hey, Nick, I know the postseason itself adds an element of adrenaline, but knowing that there could be moments where you're coming in against a judge, Stanton, Boynt, does that add an extra amount of juice to, to this coming in in a spot like that potentially? To be honest, not for me. Uh, I, I really try to act like everybody's kind of the same in there, um, in the box. Uh, it's kind of mano a mano and uh, whoever wins, wins. So it's, I, I think it's more based on situation, probably more more so than the hitter. Um, you know, you come in bases juice, it doesn't really, two outs, uh, I'm trying to get a punch out. Like, it, it doesn't really matter who's in the box. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having that same mindset.
Nick, what is this like for you to be playing the most important games of the season three time zones away from where either club plays from? It's playoff baseball. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's good. It feels great to be here. Um, I know there's kind of in the beginning, just with short season, the way everything is, it you know feels feels different. But um, ultimately, I think kind of waking up today, knowing it's game day, uh, getting dressed, bus ride here, it uh, you know it's, it's go time. So it's time zones, whatnot. I don't know. I'm a night owl. I, I, it's it doesn't <laughs> none none of that stuff. I try I try not to even think about that. How do you compare this clubhouse to uh, the one you guys have in? St. Pete. Hey, nah, I'm gonna get in trouble if I say anything. <laughs> no, and, uh, it, this is a good Blake, Blake was gushing. Blake was gushing about it yesterday. Well, that's that's Blake's personality. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's nice. It's, it's definitely a good setup. Uh, I don't. It's much rather be over here on this home side than than the visiting side. That's for sure. Um, it, no, it, it's definitely definitely a good facility, good clubhouse. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Good, good situation. It's, it, it's, it's newer, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's your out. <laughs> Thank you. See, you could have answered the question for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares what I say, though. Uh, hey, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Nick. Hey, yeah. Hey, Nick, I know things aren't the same as they used to typically would be, but what's been the initiation rights for McClanahan? I mean, there's no backpack to carry out there, but there's got to be something you're doing as a new kid. No, not really. Uh, I think I've said this a couple times, you know, the, the group that we have, the team, uh, everybody is pretty chill. Um, you know, there, there's nothing crazy going on. No, nobody running around with a sheriff hat on. Uh, just get a sheriff. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it really is pretty relaxed. So, and I think everybody, when you're new, you know, just, just coming in that you kind of tiptoe around a little bit, you know, you're not, you're not running around uh, making a fool of yourself. So um, it's, yeah, I can't, I can't really say we haven't done any, we haven't done anything. We're not allowed to, we're, we're, we're not allowed to touch each other. Remember, we got to stay six feet apart. I didn't say you had to touch him. Maybe he brings the water bottles out or something. I was thinking it's, more along those lines. Yeah. Well, he can't touch water bottles that we're going to touch. So it's, we're, we're screwed either way. <laughs> and, and one last thing, uh, any, any teasing of Luke for the only guy who doesn't have a save? I mean, what's up with that? I don't know. No, yeah, not really. Uh, I'll have to say something to him today. I was, I was thinking he should have said something to Cash, though, and uh, before, before the regular season ended, so he could have been the 13th guy. But I guess we had to save that until, until the playoffs. Hey, Nick, piggybacking off what Mark just said there, how much do you guys feel comfortable that no matter who goes in there, the job can get done? And I ask that given that it's five playoff games in five days. Yeah, we're, we're all definitely going to have to pick each other up. Uh, every, there's, there, I'm sure there's going to be situ multiple situations that everybody's going to have to do, come into, um, get into. And, and it's, it just goes – I don't know, give credit to the Rays organization for, you know, bringing this group together and having all the guys that they do and, and you know, the mentality that everybody has. Uh, it's just fighting hard and uh, going, to, going out and picking each other up. So it's, it, de it definitely helps for sure um, when you have confidence in everybody and everybody's thrown in situations that, you know, you get into a jam and, you know, hey, somebody comes in, more than likely they're going to bail you out. That's uh, – I don't know what else, what more you could ask for. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, Nick, just kind of one quick thing. Is, is the stable kind of reserved for the bullpen guys, or is it the whole pitching staff that's kind of welcome in there? I, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you be the spokesperson here. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know. I think that, that was just, like, you know, a comment, and then it kind of blew up a little bit. So uh, we, it's kind of just a joke. No, nobody really takes it. Nobody really takes it seriously. Nobody gets shunned. And says, yeah, you're not allowed in the stable. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nick, as, as, as someone who doesn't really get to see you pitch every day, one thing that really stands out about your numbers is how effective you've been against right-handers in particular since you came over here. And this is a Yankees lineup that leans really right-handed heavy. 
And I, I think you haven't given up, I think you've given up maybe four hits to right-handed batters since last summer. Um, I'm just wondering, why do you think that is? Why do you think you've been so effective against those hitters in particular? I don't know. Good question. Should we call in the analytics analytics department for this one? <laughs> um, there, there's no there's no different mindset that I have. Uh, no, nothing changes between a righty or a lefty. Um, you know, I gotta say it's just the, the way the ball comes out of my hand. Um, you know, carry fastball and curveball. Uh, just I don't know. Must must. I, I'm sure it's a different look from the right side of the plate than it is from the left side of the plate. I, mean, I stand on the first base side of the mound, so something, something with that, different, different looks from lefties to righties, or maybe I just make crappier pitches for lefties too. Uh, <laughs> that definitely, that definitely could be a possibility. Um, yeah, as, as far as that goes, I, I really try not to dig into dig into that a whole, whole lot because like just kind of opening up a can of worms. Uh, and then you got this stuff in your subconscious, like, oh, I suck against lefties or, or whatever, you know, um, just kind of putting yourself in a bad situation. So thank you, man.